Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drink Water Southern Cooking and Barbecue. In today's video, we're gonna be cooking up some smoked salsa on the Z Grills pellet grill. And if that don't get your juices flowing, we're gonna be cooking up some smoked brisket tacos as well. I have a leftover brisket, so I think this is the perfect time to cook up some smoked salsa with brisket tacos. The first thing you guys are gonna need to get is an aluminum pan. Go ahead and set that to the side. You're gonna need eight tomatoes, two jalapenos, some garlic, and a half a red onion. So let's slice these badgers up. We're gonna be using three jalapenos instead of two. So this onion, we're not gonna, we're only gonna be using half of it, but we're going, after we cut it in half, we're just gonna half it again, just like this. All right, we'll put that out of the way. Take this and go one more time, just like so. We'll take this root end off and then we'll skin it. Let's place our vegetables in the pan. There's no rhyme or reason as far as whether they go face up, face down. Just kind of put them in here randomly. We just want to get some smoke on them. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go skin down. Toss your garlic in there. So we have our Z grills fired up. We've got it set to 250 degrees and we're gonna be smoking this for exactly two hours. Whoo, hot. We're ready to start transferring these tomatoes, jalapenos, garlic, and onion, and all our good stuff into our food processor. Now, depending on the size of your food processor, you may have to do this in batches, which is what I'm gonna do. So let's throw us an onion in there, some tomatoes. Now, I do wanna say this. You might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, where's the char on the vegetables? You gotta understand, we're not looking for blackness or charring necessarily on our vegetables. We're just trying to get the smoke flavor. So I'm gonna do about half of this first. We're gonna go in with some lemon or lime. Squeeze that in there. Some cilantro in there. Just we'll put a hold back just a few. Alright. Let's put the lid on it. And now we're gonna just pulse. It's a pulse, not necessarily a blend. Probably I should plug it in first. And just keep pulsing it or blending it. I'm pulsing it, but I'm also holding down, you know, like that a little bit too. And you want it just to till the consistency that you like. All right, so let's pour off our first half of batch in there. I'm liking the consistency of that. So this time we're gonna add some salt to this. And again, there's no set amount of salt. It's just how much you like. Sometimes I even like to add vinegar to this. Now our other half of lime goes in. Good hefty pinch of salt. We may have to salt it again. We'll see, we'll taste it when we're done. Put the lid back on, and again we pulse. All right, go in with the rest of it. All right, so we're just gonna give, finish stirring that in. I add a, just a tad more salt, give it a taste again. It's smoky, it's fresh, but not overly smoky. Now this is one of the things that I wanna say about the smoke part. It, depending on what your level or, or your tolerance of smokiness for salsa, you know, you may want to go with less smoke time or maybe you wanna go with more smoke time. Did I say that right? You get my point. All right, so let's get those brisket tacos going next. 
So again, guys, I'm using leftover brisket for these tacos from a cook that I did over at Russ Jones's house. Russ Jones from Smoky Ribs, I'll leave a link below. Basically, I'm gonna be using some corn tortillas. These are the soft kind, but I'm going to fry them up using my little tool here. I've never used this before, so I'm gonna give it a try. I hope it works. All right, let's get these tortillas going. I'm gonna set it in here like this. Now, my oil's not very deep, so I may have to do some finagling here because it's not gonna all fit down in there. So I'm gonna have to do like half of it and half of it. So we have our shells ready. Let's assemble one. Take me a little slice of brisket here. Whoo, this brisket looks so good. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, a uh, little few strips of cabbage on here. Just for some green. A Little bit of red onion. And we got some little crispy jalapenos here for a little bit more heat. Now let's go on with our smoked salsa. That looks good. All right, look at that. Let's see if we can, see if we can get a shot of this. All right, here we go. This is gonna be delicious, sorry. Mm. Little tip on that little taco shell maker. I don't really, you see how wide it is? So it's good thing because you can put a lot of stuff in there, but as soon as you go to bite into it, your shell cracks in half. So would I recommend it? Probably not. Holy shit. That is absolutely killer, killer. The brisket tacos are delicious, but the smoked salsa is the star of this show. You guys gotta try smoked salsa and the brisket tacos. If you guys wanna see how me and Russ smoke that brisket, go check out that video. I have one and he has one also. Two different versions, but the same brisket. It's beautiful videos. Smoked salsa on your pellet grill or any other smoker that you have do it.